today we will study the first chapter of english subject of class 6 and the name of the chapter is who did patrick's homework before you read discuss in class do you like homework do you do it yourself or do you get help what homework do you usually have first patrick never did homework too boring he said he played hockey and basketball and Nintendo stayed in a state. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. Here are some word meanings. Nintendo, a video game. Igno, grammas, an ignorant person who lacks education. Second, then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a man of the teeniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches and a high tall hat, much like a witch. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat. I'll grant your wish, I promise you that. Breeches, breeches or short trousers, the writer here spells it for fun, to rhyme with the word wits. Third, Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days, if you do a good enough job, I could even get is. 4. The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his feast and he grimaced and scowled and pursed, pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I'll do it. Dishcloth means a cloth used for washing dishes. Hamper, a basket with a lid. Grimaced, scowled pursed his lips. His face had these expressions, showing disgust, anger, and disapproval. 5. And true to his word, that little elf began to do Patrick's homework, except there was one glitch. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. Help me, help me, he'd say. And Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I don't know this word. The elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dic dictionary. No, what's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. Glish means an informal word, a fault in a machine that prevents its, it from working properly. Here, hitch or problem. 6. When it came to maths, Patrick was out of luck. What are time tables? The elf shrieked. We elves never need that. Shrieked means gave a short, high-pitched cry. An addition and subtraction and division and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history. To them, it's a mystery. So the little elf, already a shouter, just got louder. Go to the library, I need books, more and more books, and you can help me read them too. 7. As a matter of fact, every day in every way that little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and bleary. Nag means one who troubles someone all the time by complaining or asking them to do something. Drag, an informal word, means something dull and uninteresting. 8. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quietly and slyly slipped out of out the back door. Slyly means Secretively. 
नाइन पैट्रिक गॉट हिज एज हिज क्लासमेट्स वर अमेज्ड हिज टीचर्स स्माइल्ड एंड वर फुल ऑफ प्रेज एंड हिज पेरेंट्स दे वॉन्डर्ड वॉट हैड हैपन टू पैट्रिक हे वॉज नाउ द मॉडल किड क्लीन हिज रूम डिड हिज चोर्स वट चेयरफुल नेवर रूड लाइक ही हैड डेवलप्ड अ होल न्यू एटीट्यूड किड एन इनफॉर्मल वर्ल्ड मीन्स अ चाइल्ड चोर्स work that must be done every day often boring then you see in the end patrick is still thought he'd made that tiny man do all his homework but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself attitude means a feeling about someone or something here are some questions working with the text Answer the following questions refer to that part of the text whose number is given against the question this applies to the comprehension questions throughout the book first one is what did patrick think his cat was playing with what was it really second why did the little man grant patrick a wish third what was patrick's wish Fourth, in what subjects did the little man need help to do Patrick's homework? Fifth, how did Patrick help him? Sixth, who do you think did Patrick's homework? The little man or Patrick himself? Give reasons for your answer. Working with language. A. Fill in the blanks in the sentences below with the words or phrases from the box. you may not no you may not know the meaning of all the words look such words up in a dictionary or ask your teacher b use the clues given below to complete the complete this crossword puzzle speaking a in the story patrick does difficult things he hates to do because the elf pretends he needs help have you ever done something difficult or frightening by pretending about it in some way tell your classmates about it or say what you feel about homework the words and phrases in the boxes may help you do you think it is useful even though you may not like it form pairs and speak to each other for example you may say i am not fond fond of homework your partner may reply but my sister helps me with my lessons at home and that gives a boost to my marks writing this story has a lot of rhyming words as a poem does can you write out some parts of it like a poem so that the rhymes come at the end of separate lines for example patrick never did homework too boring he said he played baseball and hockey and nin- nintendo instead b look at at these sentences first too boring he said two cleaned his room did his chores when we speak we often leave out words that can easily be guessed we do not do this when we write unless we are trying to write as we speak as in this story so if we were to write carefully we would say homework is too boring he said he cleaned his room and did his chores see rewrite the following incomplete sentences carefully so that the reader does not have to guess what is left out d look at this cartoon by rk lakshman read the sentence given below the cartoon discuss the following questions with your partner what is it about do you find it funny if so why do you think a cartoon is a serious drawing why or why not here's a poem given we are also going to read that a house a home what is the difference between a house and a home discuss it with your partner then read the poem
What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and a stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. By Lauren M. Harley Working with the poem First, do you agree with what the poet says? Talk to your partner and complete these sentences. Second, now complete these sentences about your house and home. Lengthy process. So your son is still going to college. A man remarked to another. What is he going to be when he finally graduates? Replied the second. Old. Thanks. Have a nice day.